I am live YouTube. I look like Ayatollah Khomeini. Look at that. My beard is getting really long. I'm going to need a haircut. Check that out. It's growing all the way. It's grown way long. Way longer than I ever thought it would grow. But uh, it's pretty cool, though. But yeah, I went into Big Five. I was looking at sleeping bags. I found a five degree sleeping bag. It's really cool. Coleman. And it's cloth. And it's not the mummy style. I don't like mummy style. So even though you can kind of cuddle up pretty good in it, I'm just going to get the, uh, you know, the square type. <laughs> and it's going to turn out pretty good. But I'm overloaded with stuff. I mean, you could almost call my channel stuff because I'm full of stuff. I mean, I have everything you can think of. I pre you look like Bob Wells. Really, Bob? Do I look like Bob Wells? Really? Check out this, man. Yeah. It's going really big. This beer is going to be down to my belly within probably, probably a, probably a couple weeks. I'm going to be singing tonight at the. Uh, over at the Chaparral Bar tonight. I'm not gonna get drunk. I'm I'm just gonna stay sober. I got drunk last time. I couldn't I couldn't even get out of the bar. I couldn't even walk actually. But um, I did a couple shots of whiskey. Um, where? Yeah, I'm doing karaoke. Yeah. I got a former. I got a, a camper that's was camping next door to me at Thousand Trails up here in. Uh, Oh, you're in Florida already? Big Dodge Ram, you're in Florida, really? La Bob Wells, that's funny. I, I'm not, as you can see, I didn't go to the RTR. I thought about it, and I thought against it. I heard, you know, Bob, who was it, who came on? Did Kemo Dave said that, uh, he said, RV Davey, nobody wants him at the RTR, so. You know what, I'm gonna give them what they want. I'm just not gonna go. I don't need to go. I, I told Mr. Camo Dave, I, I didn't get on YouTube to get famous, you know what I mean? I didn't get on here to be big like uh, Nomadic Fanatic Camo and some of these other people. Camo 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 I came on to do what I want to do, which is to travel and see things that I've never seen before. And uh, I'm a cool person. I don't care what those tribe people say. Okay, I'm back. I, I froze up. But yeah. No, I'm no big superstar. I think Cam Camel Dave said, "Oh, the famous RV Davy." Yeah, famous what? Don't don't bullshit me. Fuck, I I hate that guy. You know, I'm not I'm not even gonna watch him anymore. You know, I watch Blind Views more because he's actually pretty damn funny. Uh, there's some rough people on there. They rough me up in there. I mean, as long as I keep things clean, I'm good. Caravan Carolyn, she hates my fucking guns. You know what? I can fucking care less. I, I, I'm going to imitate her. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. And I think I'll do it when I get up into... I'm going to get up in those like, nice little cool cuddly area, you know, woodsy area, like uh, between Sedona and Flag. Because I'm only, I'm only 42 miles from Flagstaff right now. Eight, I had one night got down to 10 below zero up here. I slept with no heat. I had two sleeping bags, a couple blankets on top of me. My propane wasn't working. Um, I had some guy work on it. He fucked it up. And he left the open line, and I had to go back, and I had to look at it. And, you know, it would cost me 130-something bucks to have somebody check it out. And I just decided to, I got the fitting for the end of the line, and I capped it with some uh, propane tape, yellow tape and threaded it, not that I didn't thread it, but I put it over the threading and I screwed it in and buttoned it up and then I opened the valve. And then I got some soapy water, some spray bottle and I sprayed all the fittings and checked for bubbles. I got no bubbles, so I was good. So I fixed it. I was able to use my, uh, use my propane. So I turn on the two burners at night, about medium, and uh, keep, keeps it the trailer, or keeps the RV at about 75. If you stand up, if you look at the the uh, temperature gauge or the thermostat, yeah, I'll be back here a little bit. yeah, go ahead and take off. Uh, you know, do, do I'll be back here a little bit. All right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm doing a live feed right, here. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm doing a live feed. Right, yeah. What happened to the RV? Oh no, no, I got the RV. Matter of fact, the RV. You want me to show you the RV? Hey, big fifteen. You want me to show you the RV? 
I don't want people knowing where I'm at, for one. Um, yeah, I'll show you. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk right by it. But you know what? The Swedes turned on me. Those guys. You know, I'm gonna say Chad's a piece of shit. You know, I, I told a lot of people. I call people on their on their bullshit. You know. So who, Misty Cunningham? I don't think I've ever seen you on here. I think you're new. I look like a, I a total comedian, man. I kind of like this look, you know. My beards get really huge. I couldn't believe it's, Every day it grows like a half an inch, it seems, you know. It's pretty cool. I got some uh, ELO music in the background. I just got done eating at Carl's Jr. And we had... Uh... Oh, you have? I, I just... What were your different name? Or I just don't remember that name. No, no, I, I didn't. I didn't go to the RTR. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to the RTR. You know what? I won't. I don't know if I'm gonna get out of Arizona. I think I might just stay in Arizona. You know what I mean? I, I got new insurance on the first. I went on Medicare. I went on, since I'm on Medicare, I can leave state. But right now, my funds are low. I spent too much money on that on this gas line on the RV. I spent nine hundred dollars in two days. That wiped out my account, so I have to wait till next month. And then I have to get a hitch put on the RV. Yeah, I gotta put a hitch. I gotta take the existing hitch, as you know, uh, big 1500. I had that toolbox behind my rig. I'm gonna get rid of that toolbox. You wanna buy it off of me? I'm gonna sell the whole. I'm gonna get rid of that whole toolbox, and uh, I just don't have no room for it. You know. No? Find somebody that wants a toolbox. It, it holds a lot of stuff, you know? It's, pretty, it's actually a nice toolbox. It, you know, you can make it bigger than, than what it is, but um, it holds my, as, you know, I got my barbecue. What's really cool about that gas line I put in, I got two extra lines, and um, so I can hook up my, bar, my big barbecue up to the line, and I have, um, uh, Anyways, I got two extra lines off of it, and one goes to the barbecue, one goes to whatever. So, um, but it's like 15 feet. It goes 15 feet out from my main propane tank. There's a T fitting underneath there. Craigslist. Oh, okay. I'm, you know, I'm not good with Craigslist, but I'll I'll do that. So, okay. Um, hey, get, you know what's cool about this town I'm in? I got laid twice. Twice. I mean, I, I, I'm meeting ladies with this freaking beard. They like beards, man. That I should have had a beard years ago, man. I had, I got laid twice in one night. I met the first girl. She was, she wanted to get laid so bad that I had to take shit out of my back of my camper in a, in a little truck, and it was, it was colder than shit out. But you know what? I threw some blankets behind there, and it, it, it just, we made it work. And then, and then she wanted. Then she was so drunk she wanted to go home after that. So she wanted to go back to my RV, and I said no. I didn't want her to come back to my RV. Good thing, because because it snowed that next following morning. It dumped nine inches of snow on the ground. Talk about getting stuck, man. With snow, it, it at about four o'clock, it turns to pure ice. You can't even walk on it. And uh, I got hit. Some guy freaking slid out of control and rammed into my. Went all the way up. From the back all the way up to the uh, side of my front. I'll show you the dent. Let me show. Let me walk out. I'll show you a few things. Let me turn the music off. Let me take my keys out. I'm gonna show you a few things here. Hold on. Guy really effed up my truck, and then he hit. It was a hit and run. And guess what? He got out of his car, and he happened to have his registration, and he dropped it on the ground. I got it. I turned that into the cops up here. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me uh, put it on the other side here. See if I can do this. Okay. All right, there we go. Look, look, it's hard to see with these. Hold on. Let me get my glass. The sun's glaring. But yeah, there's a dent down there, and it it comes all the way up. That's all dented, all pushed in. You can see that's freaking bent in there. Let me show you what else he did. Freaking bashed out. 
my tail light, and look at my bump all bent. So that all got effed up. All my stuff's in this truck. Um, everything. All my um, two ice chests. A little bit of food. Hold on a second. Let me uh, walk up here. Yeah, I'll show you something here. A lot of campers up here. This is a great place to camp, I'm going to tell you. And it's nice weather too. It's beautiful. Like, it's like 65 degrees today. It's been, there were highs only like mid 30s up here for like a week. Brutal. That's tough to handle. When, hey, I'm still doing my live feed. Hold on. Let me show, if I'm going to show the guy some people some things here. Well, we're all good. I'm going to show you where the where my, my RV is. You can see some nice little like Christmas pine trees over here. here I'll get close up on it. Get some shadier. And, you know, I'm not working with a gimbal or anything, so um, all that stuff's freaking packed away, and I can't even find it. I'm buried with stuff. Anyway, see if I can. Beautiful freaking area, man. The mountain, you're right next to Sedona, is only 10 miles away. Cornville, another great place, uh, 10 miles away. Jerome, 10 minute drive. Jerome, the haunted Jerome, check that out. Here, check out these trees, man. They're nice. I got these, these beautiful trees right within my campsite here. I own this parking lot. I know the owners of this place I'm at. So I'm cool to camp here. There's the RV. 1500. She's, uh, she's here. There's the bikes. I don't think you see the bike. I didn't have a bike on it last time. There's a bike. There's my uh, tow dolly. That's gonna, this toolbox is gonna come off. And, uh, I got this thing locked up to here. The the uh, ball hitch is bigger. I can't fit it on there. This goes on the little truck. But this tool. Yeah, I lost you guys. Hold on. Okay. Anyway, let me get switch it over here. Okay, here's the toolbox. Look at that. That says Junior Police Officer RTR 2018. Not going to be there this year. I don't really care. Um, look at that. RV Joey still on there. Four Peaks. Nomadic Fanatic. I think you gave me that sticker, 1500. And there's RV Davey. RV Joey. And RV Davey up there. And uh, there's my bike. I've got a scooter. I added a scooter to the rig too. It's uh, about a $1,400 scooter that's inside. It's a small one, but... You, I'm going to put some dirt tires on it. It'll go about 30 miles an hour. Um, that's electric. I could charge that up off the solar, which is pretty cool. I could put a solar panel on it, too. But here's my tow dolly. Um, I had a motorcycle on this beep, on the bitch. And let me tell you what happened. Um, I, the guy borrowed my this at the other camp I was at. Then the motherfucker... Excuse me. Oh, shit. Oh, that's all right. Knocked it down. Anyway, the motherfucker uh, decides that he's going to keep it. He says, well, it's in my possession. You have no title. I go, fuck you. Go, who's calling me? I'm going to decline on that right now. Hold on, I'll call back later. Get out of this. Okay, I'm going to call her back later. She's from Michigan that's trying to call me. Anyway, uh, the bastard was going to keep this trailer. So I walk over and I said, you give me my trailer back or I'm going to break your face. It's that simple. I'm, I'll, he looked like a... If you ever seen the movie Leprechaun, the guy looked just like him. And he, he was even just like him too. He's a freaking alcoholic idiot. but And he's n terrible shape. He could barely stand up. So here he is threatening me. So he decides he's going to attack me. So he attacks me. Throws a punch at me. He misses. So I grab him as he's going past. And I freaking bring him down. Put him down on the ground. I beat the... F I split his head open. He had, to, he had to go to the hospital. He got 125 stitches in the back of his head. 
and I broke three of his ribs. I fucking beat. Yeah, I, I was gonna kill him. I mean, that's how pissed off I was at the guy. I go, I go, who, who, who won the fight, dude? I go, who showed who who's stronger? You little fucking idiot. I go, don't fuck with me. Don't steal. Don't claim things to yours that aren't. I I got a witness to come out that sold me the thing because he lives up in this area. He came out. And, uh, oh, I had eight units of cops out. I had th uh, uh, seven U.S. Force uh, officers and one regular police officer from Cottonwood out. And uh, they, uh, they arrested him. He got arrested. I had it all on video. I'm not going to show the video because the cops told me I'm not able to do that. So I, won't, I will honor what they say. Yeah. So, yeah, he, got, he was in the hospital. And, uh, yeah, he got, he got pretty, pretty messed up. I messed him up pretty bad, and uh, I had the, the, my mechanic help lift the motorcycle off of this thing, off my tow dolly, and I got it back, and, and then I got all my camping stuff loaded up, and I got out of that camp, because the, the, the BOM law officers came in and said we all had to leave anyway. They closed all of Highway 260, so anybody wanting to camp in the Cottonwood area, you can't do it anymore, so you got to go somewhere else, I you know best place I know of is Sedona. It's great. From where I'm at, Sedona's the, be the best spot I could, that I could tell. It's only eight miles from this location. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty freaking crazy. Yeah, so, um, who's the third here? I don't know. Um, third, there's a third person? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know who that is. I really don't. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I got the propane all let me show you something with the propane that I did, um, which is really cool. Capped it off. I'll show you. Here, I did some. I did a lot of work with this this thing, uh, fifteen hundred. I got a new motor in it too. I just put a brand new motor in it. Help me check this out. See that line right there? I capped that baby off, and all you do is I got another line that attaches to that with two extra lines, and I can hook hook up external propane devices. So that's pretty, that's pretty freaking cool. I like that. And I could keep this thing about 75 degrees during the night. I just use my uh, stove top, turn on two burners. Let me kind of, kind of zoom out on there. Yeah, it was really cool. I made that extra hose. It's like 15 foot. So one goes to my barbecue, which is really cool. I just put that on the tabletop and. Boom, I, I got, as you know, I got that really kick-ass barbecue. You've seen it. You remember, and I got it in this compartment here. This has got all my tool supplies on this side. All this is going to go back in that little pickup in the camper shell back there once I organize it a little bit better. Um, I had to throw everything together like in the last second because the cops were on top of me to get out of there. So, And they said, you know, you need, we got other things to do, so hurry up. We can't leave until you get all your stuff and get out of here. You know, so I said, that's all right. That's fine with me. So, yeah, the RTR. You know what? Those kids, those, the stupid tribe members. You know, you know, the only cool tribe members that I found out there was the RV cats. And uh, let me think who else. Uh, oh, uh, Destination Open Road. Terry and Scott. They're cool. I met them. They came into my camp. And uh, they're cool with me. They're part of the tribe. They like Caravan Carolyn. Caravan Carolyn hates me. Oh, I think you know that big 1500. She freaking despises me. But I got a wig. That's her style hair wig. And I got her sunglasses. I'm going to I'm gonna make a video here probably next couple days. I've been saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it like a week, two weeks ago. But I'm going to get this video done. Um, I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do it. You know, how I want the video to be. I, I won't... Yeah, Terry and Scott, they're great. They're cool people. I, I love those guys. And, and the RV cats are great, too. I like those guys, too. You know, they got the cats. You know who I'm talking about. They got the little short guy and they're, the bald head. And there's another guy, too, that was out this at Cabela's, if you can remember that, 1500. Do you remember that? Remember? You don't remember. Greg Barris, remember him? Where did he go? He just disappeared off the planet. Nobody knows anything about him. So, kind of wondering about what happened to him. Um, let's see. 
Yes, the fifth wheel. Yeah. Let's see who. Oh, the RV cats. The fifth wheel. Okay, I think you know who I'm talking about there. And uh, this. T oh, I love. You know what's really cool about this town is the fact that you're only from any direction. You are close to just. You're, I'm only eight miles from city limits of Sedona. I'm about probably fifth. I'm like 35 miles to Prescott. We think where else am I close to? Uh, Clark, Clarkdale, which is right up the street. That's like old town, old town Cottonwood almost. Beautiful area. Uh, like little cottages in there. Tr nice trees and um, restaurants. Tons of good restaurants up here. So if you're if you got some money in your pocket to burn for food, yeah. That'd be the way to go if you could eat restaurants. Uh, there's one restaurant called the 1012 Lounge. Not so, you know, I like the place, but there's a bunch of bikers that go in there. And, and that one guy I had problems with, he knows a lot of those bikers. And I'm going to stay away from those bikers because I'm only by myself right now. If I was in Phoenix, it would be a different story. Phoenix, I know all kinds of bikers down there that like me. My friend's a biker. He can He could easily round up... Uh, probably half a dozen if not more that could ride up here but I'm not I don't want to do that I don't need that we don't need trouble so I'm just gonna let it go uh, I took care of that guy myself I handled it and uh, you know he took the punishment so he for what he stole my son he stole quite a few things from me but he, he paid the price for it because he's got big doctor bill now after I pounded him into the freaking ground but, uh, yeah, he I, I don't know. I don't think he learned his lesson. I actually went right back into that camp. And uh, the guy that's with me, he had some stuff with this gal that was camped next to me. And she threw all her trash in my freaking uh, my, uh, fire pit after I cleaned it out. She was just throwing all kinds of stuff in there. She just walked over with her bags of trash and just dump it right in front of my, my area. And, and, and then the rangers are right there, the law enforcement. They're like, you know, you got to pick up all this stuff, you know, and I'm like, all this trash. And um, and I had my hands in the pocket, my hands in my pockets, and the officer got really pissed off at me. He goes, get your hands out of your pocket because, hey, you know, you do. if I have to tell you one more time, I go, hey, I'm sorry, it's cold out, my hands are freaking frozen, and uh, I'm sorry, I won't put my hands in my pockets again, so... So then I just say, go, just let me get all my stuff out of here. I'll get out of here. I'll be out. I'll get a new camp area, and uh, things will be cool. Uh, he goes, just don't antagonize that guy anymore. Uh, don't don't bother him. Leave him alone. I go, well, I don't like the guy. Uh, I hope to never see him again. To me, he looked like, I bought the movie Leprechaun. If you, if you see the movie Leprechaun, if you see the cover of the DVD Leprechaun, that's what the guy looks like. And even acts like him. You know, he, he he portrays himself to be a Christian. I'm like, every serious Christian I ever met has been just a piece of, I don't know, I don't even want to say the word. But, yeah, it's been never, it's never good. I had Carl's Jr. I had a, what I have? I had a jalapeno, double jalapeno burger. It's pretty good. I'm right, right behind O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Um, so, yeah. You look at that ball hitch, it's just a little bit too big. Um, and it's, as you can see, it's really, it'd be, I could probably spray that, it might come off, but you need a good pipe wrench, which I don't currently have and I don't want to buy right now. It's a possibility I might have one in here, but I don't want to dig stuff out. So, but yeah, yeah, the bicycle, I gotta get my bike pump out and pump up these tires and. I could take a little spin around this town. Who's that? Somebody on Facebook. Somebody on Facebook sending me a message. Out here, Carl Jr. is known as Hardy's. Okay, yeah. Who who's to tell me Arizona? Arizona's not depressing up here. It's beautiful. Yeah, the pe oh, one gal saying the 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 people with the cats. They're actually called the RV cats, but uh, yeah, and this Mexican restaurant's really good here, right there too. They got some good cerveza. Cerveza is really good, but uh, yeah, oh, boy, 
it's uh, some nice places around here actually. A lot of pine trees and see, you see, it's good to have somebody likes this channel. I, I had, I had the YouTube producer say that my channel is a piece of shit, and no, well, he didn't say that exactly. But what he said was, he goes, "You're, he goes, you're rough on other YouTubers and stuff like that, and we don't like that. We don't like that kind of behavior." And I said, "Well, you know what? You take me or you leave me. I, I come as I am." And you know what? That's just the way it is. You heard that term. I think Mike Living Free, he says, uh, it is what it is. And I say it is what it is and no more. So that's how I like to put it. Um, like I said, I'm like, hey, 1500, I'm going to imitate Caravan Carolyn. You know, you should go on Blindview's channel like when he goes Sunday morning. I get on there if I can get up. I, you know, I've been getting up later because it's been so cold. I've been getting up when it's warm enough to get up. But, um, like I said, I'm going to get the wig going. I'm going to do a video. Uh, I'm going to speed up my voice. My voice is going to sound like uh, chipmunks. I'm going to do that with the edit program. Um, I've got a different edit program called Flamora. I'm using that. It's a little easier to use. Um, I just got to figure a few things with it. And I think I'll be okay with it. And then I'll tangle in between a few other things and get the videos to get come out a little bit better. I'll try to I got tripods. I bought all kinds of stuff for this phone, but most of it's at my friend's place. I ordered it and it came it shipped in during Christmas time. So and I and I left Phoenix and uh I probably I don't know. I don't know if I'll be back to Phoenix till I don't know. It's gonna be a while. Um I just can't predict when I because I don't want if I go back to Phoenix it'd be with a little truck and leave the R V parked, you know. I'd do that. I'd come back. I'd go down and come back the same day. You know, I'd go get go get a couple things and then and then come back come back up here because I don't I don't want to stay around Phoenix. I mean, otherwise I'd have to get a hotel room and I don't want to do that. You know, just don't want to do that. I stayed in a hotel room for three weeks down there in Phoenix off of Interstate uh, 17 Dodge and uh, 17 and Bell Road. There's a place, there's a uh, truck stop place called, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, try to see if you, I think you might know the name of it. It's like old school. It's just like going into an old cafe, you know, old diner truck stop, and you sit at the counter and you order a meal, you know. I'm trying to think what the name of that place is. Uh, some kind of pancake, the waffle, I think it's called the Waffle House, I believe. I believe that's what it is, but... Yeah, it's pretty good food there. You know, it's not bad. And, uh, you know, that that's, was in walking distance of my hotel room, which was pretty cool. I guess I got two people on here now. I don't know who those two people are. Let's see. Okay, that's the Misty Cunningham. I'll have to meet her sometime uh, on the road here as I'm on the road. And I, and RV Davy is certainly on the road, as you can see. Uh it is beautiful. It's way more beautiful than uh, Quartzite. Way more. Yeah, Misty Cunningham. I do subscribe. To. Okay, Misty Cunningham. I don't think I'm subscribed to her. I will. Misty Cunningham. I'll remember that. I'll go back and make sure I subscribe to her channel. As for the, the, the Swedes, they freak, I freaking dog me really bad. You know, and I just like, I go, are you subscribed to my channel? He goes, no, I'm not. And then I went to another channel. Next couple, okay. Let me know when you're gonna do a live. I'll be on there. I'll, I'll make sure I'm on there. But yeah, the Swedes really dogged me, and I told Chad, I go, you know, he threatened me actually. I said, well, you know what? I photoshop, I photo snapped that. So you know, that's a real threat that you're saying that you're gonna do to me. I said, you know what? You don't want to come in my door. You come through my door. Uh, I think that'll be the last time you ever do it. So as far as I'm concerned. So, but yeah, don't. You know, these people that want to make a threat against my life, come into my door and find out what happens. It'll probably be the last time you do it. That's all I could say. I ain't saying no more after that. I mean, I've talked to police officers about it. They said, that's exactly what you, you know. I said, you know what, I don't, I don't have time to call 911 and wait for you guys to get out here 10 minutes later. The action's going on now. Now, mean, now means take care of it instantly. So... So that's what I'll do, you know. 
I ain't, I don't, I ain't, I'm not gonna fuck around with these freaking people. Let me see who's on here. Let's see. Let's see, Big Dodge, it's just you. Okay, she had to go, she left, okay. Uh, Big Dodge, it's just you and I, yeah. So, yeah, I think you know where I'm at, I believe. Take a guess where I'm at, if you can guess it. You're, it's just you and I on here. I'm gonna erase this video after I'm done with it. I think I should just erase it. You know, I don't want people coming on and making some nasty comments. Trolls have, been, have gone away. I don't know. They must be busy. You know, it's good. They not the channels. You know, they knock. They figure they knocked the channel down enough that they destroyed the channel. They didn't just destroy my channel. What they did is, uh, you know, they. You know, it's just an independent channel. It's me and my personal friends. That's all. Was, that's all I ever joined YouTube for. I've got my friends down in Phoenix, Scottsdale, uh, Tempe, uh, Mesa area, uh, Glendale. I got all friends in those cities, and they all support me, and they check up on me through YouTube. I I, I try to do. I go on Facebook on the Messenger, and I personally every time I move to a new spot, I let my one personal friend know exactly where the location is, and he zeroes it in on his. Uh, on his computer, his phone, the, the GPS, just in case something happens, he can he can call the cops and give my GPS whereabouts coordinates, and then uh, you know do that kind of thing. So, so that's all set up there. My personal, my really good personal friend. I got a lot of all my mail goes to his address, and you know so that's if, so if I need my mail, he can he can I could just tell him put it in a box and ship it. You know I'll pay the shipping from Phoenix up to where I am. I could ship it with the US at the post office that's actually in this town but this town's got a lot to offer it's got a lot of amenities it's got you know ace hardware it's got home depot it's got walmart uh you can't camp at walmart though up here uh, they won't let you but you know i've seen people do it like right at christmas day because walmart's closed on christmas day so but they have clear they have clear signs that state no camping. So if a cop sees you in there, the cop will just knock on your door and say you got to leave because that's a city ordinance up here. Um, I've seen some signs at other places, but I've never seen any cops take action at some of these places. But but the mountain range is really cool. I mean, I, I didn't have these, these houses right here. I mean, Jerome, guys, it's just right, up at, right up on that mountain right over there. It's all Jerome. Um, I'd love to take a ride up to Jerome, but I think it's still icy. The road, when it's icy, especially at night, it, it gets treacherous because the moisture turns to black ice. And when you're coming down, a, it's not, <laughs> you don't want to be doing driving on that kind of stuff when it's major up here, up here, uphill and downhill. So, but uh, yeah, otherwise, um, I got this dolly here. It's really cool. Um, I got it up here. Um, I got it for a good price. I got it for like 900 bucks. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is a, to protect the transmission with the truck. I, I I back it up with the rear rear wheels and in, in here and then over there. Strap it in real good, right, right right there, with the straps that come in off your tires, and you latch it real good with the chain. You button it up pretty much, and uh, then I got some magnet uh, lights. It'll go up on the hood from the front end, so it's a little brake light, so I'll be hooked up with new wiring coming from underneath the, the actual uh, RV. I've had some offers to, for this thing for like 15 grand, you know, because I put the solar on this stuff, on this thing. So I had an offer for 15 grand on this thing, and I, I didn't want to do it. I, I, I like this RV. I'm keeping it. I've done a lot of work to it. I got a new motor in it. It's... Everything that could be done has been done on this thing. From the suspension to the motor, propane. I've added uh, two extra propane tanks that that, could, that will go and sit out on the outside from here. The, the, the hoses, I think, will come out like 15 foot. So I could actually have my barbecue set up on the table, like, like right about here. Um, which is perfect. And then I got my, hey, check out my new awning uh, cover. Uh, 1500. I don't know if you're still on here.
Don't know if you're still on here, 1500. But anyway, there's the new awning. Brand new. That was put on too. That was about 500 bucks to do that. And uh, I was trying to get get a new generator too. And I've got the generator working on this. It's not working bad. I got a couple. Remember those little batteries? I got two little batteries. Uh, those things I'm keeping. I'm, I use that for my movie projector. I could set up a table, put the movie projector, put the white screen up like around there, and I can play my movies. You could check out um, Hobotech. He's he's got one of those setups too. I, I'm just using my 33 AA uh, 30 33 AH. Uh, so which I, I combined the two, going um, uh, positive positive negative negative. Uh, so that's a. Uh, the setup I got for it, <clears throat> I forget the name, what the, what'd you call that? Anyway, I did that, so that works for the movies, and I put the, I got an inverter. I clip onto the very front part of the, the battery, you know, positive, negative, negative, whatever. So I got that all figured out. And sleeping in this thing is nice. Turn on the burner now. You got the line capped off. Things are good. So... Um, anyway, uh, I don't know if anybody's still on here. I guess I'll close out this video. But yeah, let me know, uh, let me know when you're going to do your live feed. I'll be on there if you're still on here. It's starting to get dark. Let's see, I got to check the Mist Misty Cunningham. Yeah, I'm glad... See, women like my channel. Women do. The freaking guys hate me. For, you know, and I'm picking up on lots of women up here. This town, that's one great thing about this town. I can get women here for some damn reason. I was in Phoenix, I couldn't get nobody. You know? Why is that? I can't figure that out. Get my glasses on so I can read what you're saying. Hold on a second here. Let's see. Misty Cunningham. God. So some of you talk to. Anyway, I'm going to close out this video. 1500. I'll, I'll catch you later on my next feed. As a backdrop, I'm going to end this video with the backdrop of Jerome Mountains. Within, I'm only like 10 minutes away from being in, right up to the center of Jerome. Man, it's still kind of snowed in up there. I, I'm not going up there. As you can see, there's still a lot of snow up there, about mid-level, so. I ain't going to mess with ice, no way. Uh, one guy tried, and he whammed into my car, truck. So, at least he got caught, and he's got insurance. So, his insurance is going to pay, and he's also going to pay for my arm, too. He injured my arm in the process. So, I got injured. He hit me, hit me from behind, came up on the side, and smacked into my door. And smacked into my arm, got munched. So my arm hurts. Let me walk back to the to the little truck here. I need to get the truck up to the RV at this point. I got this other guy kind of hanging around. I don't have any room for him to sleep because every I need to make. I could put him in there and he can help pay a few things and he can keep me uh, keep me going. I can go into town. And get uh, some assistance where they can, uh, you know, give me a food box. Or I'm good with food right now, but I just, if I could just get myself like a couple hundred bucks, I'll get myself through a hard month, and I'll be okay. This place is great. Great Mexican food, man. Wait, 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 wait. That can't be. Where do you? Oh, there it is. There it is. I walked around the other side. Got yeah, a little bit of walk back to the truck. Hard to hold the camera still with no... Let's see. They got a taco bar here. Look at that. All-you-can-eat Mexican food, $8.95. They got salad, all the dressings. Uh, pretty much everything you can think of is in there. 
Let's see if I can keep this camera a little bit more still. See, I got a way to do it. Got to hold my elbows in, hold the two ends of the camera. You got some good beer in there. Let's see, everybody, a lot of big trucks around here. Nice new trucks. 15, you know, like, like it's 19, or uh, 2017, 18 trucks. Now the 19 trucks are out. So, so anyways, uh, I'm pretty packed in here. Yeah, I'm pretty packed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got a signal going the other way on that? I locked that up. Yeah, signals what? Yeah, for the YouTube. They pick it up at other places. Is it is it worldwide or like? Will you this is worldwide, it? guy. Yeah, yeah, all right. uh -huh. This goes worldwide. Whoever's whoever wants to watch it, can, if, if they know about me. Right now, I got one person that knows about me right now on here. So let me check. I should probably do. But uh, yeah, I had a girl on here, another guy, two people on here. I'm not going to get a big crowd on here because I pissed off some people. Yeah, I can I can hook all this up to a TV, but I, my TV's new in the box. I'm I want to sell the TV I got actually. 32 inch TV, 100 bucks. It's getting your check-in time. Got to check in. Oh, uh, what, what time you got check-in? Okay, you, so you need to go back to your home. Hey, I'm going to close this video. I'm going to drop his, this guy off at, at the uh, shelter up here. So he has to report in. So I'm going to take him back. Uh, hey, Arnie, I'll check. I'll catch you later. Uh, uh, yeah, leave a message for me. Um, I know I don't think you do Facebook, but yeah, leave a message. And I'll, I'll leave this video so you can leave a message when you're going to be on. And then I'll, I'll make sure I'm on there. All right. Sound good? So I'm going to close the video out right now, so we'll catch you later. Like I said, I'll leave the video there so you can leave a message for me. And if anybody else wants to catch this video, they're more than welcome to, you know. Um, so so all's good, all's well. So, I, hey, let me do something here real quick. Let me switch this Listen, over. Dave, thanks. Okay, yeah. Dave, thanks, brother. Hold on, I'm going to switch this over. Anyway, that's the come time when it's time to say goodbye. And I'm going to end the video right here. I'm going to end the video right here, right now. Uh, coming to you live from an undisclosed location. So, RV Davey signing out to, to you and everybody else that wants to check this video out and see whatever, you know. But uh, right now, right now, right this second, we end the video. Does that sound familiar to you, Arnie? That's Camper Van Kevin's little stint that he likes to use. Well, I'm going to start doing that. I'm not going to do the, the little, you know, may may or uh, little tuk tuk or whatever, tuk tuk. You know, I'm not going to do any of that crap. You know that. But I do have a little stuffed kitten and a dog, and I'm going to name it Parker and Kitten. And I'm going to put that in the video. So, okay, Arnie, we're going to say goodbye. Okay, guys, uh, over out, RV Davy. Goodbye. Undisclosed location in northern Arizona. Goodbye.